Uh, nothing better than driving at 4,000 RPM on the highway. Isn't that great? I've put so much money, so much time, so much effort, so many hours laying on my back into working on this car, and I just had a four year anniversary with it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that, yeah, I bought my car an anniversary cake. Obviously, I ate it, but I thought that was really funny. But it's time to maybe change things up a little bit. One hour and 20 minute drive later, and now we're at a random Dollar General. Well, here it is, my dream car. So the guy took my license and said, go ahead, test drive it. So here I am, it's about to run out of gas. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. It says 22 miles average. So it's like one of the most common spots to rust. Gas door. Usually check in the gas cap and the gas door is how you tell if someone's really been taking care of a car. Looks like we got some rust getting right here. A few dents along it. One thing I definitely don't like is this lip. I would take this off as soon as I get home. <laughs> well, the first thing I'm gonna do. This bumper is like beat to shit. So I wonder if this lip is like protecting it. Held on just about as much as mine. Got a little bit of damage. Probably gonna need a new hood seeing this, but a little bit of damage in the front. I should honestly let it run. How wide are these? Immediately, it's leaking gas, so I better start going. Okay, so far so good. I really don't want to jinx it. The steering is horrible. I think there's a lot of tow out in the rear. Common problem when you lower these cars. Um, gas has not moved. Maybe the tiniest bit, it says check gas cap. So the car knows that there is an evap leak. Holy shit. Ooh, I thought that was gonna be a lot worse. Um, yeah, everything seems good so far. Coolant staying at temp, oil isn't getting too hot. Um, I guess this is the true test of how good the car is. Now, let's talk about the problems right away. So first of all, I can tell there's a gnarly clunk in the back. Hope that the rear subframe mounting points are not cracked and falling apart because 245,000 miles and there is no subframe reinforcement plates on this car so I better hope that it's not cracked or falling out and that it's just the diff bushings or subframe bushings because my car had the same problem obviously you guys know that I don't want to talk too much because I know I'm probably just going to keep rambling but I'm wearing my high hops low cars Adam LZ E46 M3 shirt and I'll record next whenever I get off the highway so I can actually show you guys a little bit more of what I'm talking about, the gas leak. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait to get home. Hmm, which front end do you think looks better? Oh, light went out.
last time it was a half a tank, so it's less than a quarter right now. I'm gonna see if it starts leaking. That would explain the rust that's right here. If it's leaking down into this from the fill neck specifically. So I can't tell if it might be coming from the fill neck, and that's why it thinks the gas cap is open. open stuff. Nothing. Wow. Fix the gas cap issue. Well, never mind that. I smelled it. That's probably me. Dry again? I can really... No, that's not dry. So the gas cap light keeps coming and going. I can't seem to fix it. Taking on and off the cap doesn't really do it. And I keep checking and it hasn't been leaking recently. Everything seems dry, but I can still smell it for sure. But I'll admit to you guys, every time I do a pole in this car, my heart fucking sinks. So the car is pretty dusty and this one's a little dirty. So we're gonna take them both to the car wash. Stop. So I took Malky for a ride. Well, how do you rate this car, Malky? I'm a badass out of 10. Uh, I think that's a pretty good car. I think it's the best car you have by far. All right, so let's talk about it real quick. So this is my 2004 M3, and it's obviously, you've noticed, 245,000 miles. It's now it's 246,000 miles. Yes, I took that lip off. That thing needed to go. It's over there in my garbage pile of shit. But anyway, it's starting to rain, so I gotta make this quick. So yeah, this car, I mean, this is like the cheapest six-speed, not convertible M3 that you're gonna find. So I don't care about the mileage, I don't care about the condition. The price is worth it because the amount of money I'm gonna spend to repair all the things, like this rust spot that's very obvious, I'm gonna be saving money. So right now it's parked as close as I could to my E30 that you guys saw that I also just posted yesterday. So this is gonna be another project, just like this E46, I'm gonna end up taking up the whole rear subframe taking care of all the bushings, checking for cracks in the subframe. And uh, yeah, I guess this is just the next project. So hope you guys enjoy them. I try to upload way more often now instead of spanning these videos out super long. I'm just gonna start uploading a few times a week. And um, yeah, one of the first things I need to get though is a bumper. This one, uh, someone destroyed the shit out of it, but it's good. Hope you guys like this video, um, getting my one of my dream cars. Um, right back to back of getting one of my favorite chassis ever, the E30. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. There's going to be more videos of this coming up. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Share this with your friends. Please share this with your friends. That'll help out so much. All right, see ya.